You can just attack it however you want. Be creative. Each summer, Evan Trupp returns to work the UND hockey camp. And not surprisingly, he's teaching puck handling then... skills. You're going to puck handle around them. All right? Do whatever you want. Trupp was a wizard with the puck in his days at UND. He played 157 games between 2007 and 2011. He was part of two McNaughton Cup WCHA championship teams and two teams that went to the Frozen Four. And those puck handling skills? Well, those can be traced back to his boyhood days in Alaska. I played a lot of street hockey growing up. It's, it's, and we always use the tennis ball and I think that helps with the hand-eye coordination instead of using like a street hockey ball. I mean, any kind of street hockey that you play I think will help your hands, but we always used a tennis ball growing up and that thing was bouncing everywhere, so you had to have good hand-eye coordination to, to, really, uh, to really play in those kind of games. But. Trump has turned in two of the most memorable plays in recent UND hockey history, each showcasing his puck skills. The first came during his freshman season his first taste of the UND Gophers rivalry. And with the two teams tied in overtime, Trump made a play that will be forever remembered. And I was in there with uh, Ryan Martins, and I kind of popped out and I noticed he was winning the battle. And knowing Ryan, he's a pretty sneaky player, so I thought he might be able to give it to me back door. Hoffman takes a look. Martins. And he did just that, except for the puck went over the net. Martin. Oh, a diving goal! What a beautiful goal for the Fighting Sioux! So, as I was getting tripped by one of their guys who was trying to keep me from going in the net, I swung at the puck and lucky enough I hit it and uh, caught the goalie off guard. And Smacked it right out of the air off the inside of the right leg of Kegas. Yeah, it was probably right around here when I hit it. And I was probably right around here when I got tripped. And there is no question, North Dakota wanted it more in the overtime. I had I'd heard so much about the Sioux Gopher rivalry, and uh, that was my first time playing against them. It was my freshman year, and it was actually the first uh, college game that my dad ever made it to, so I thought that was kind of, kind of a little cherry on top for that, but. And later in his career, his senior season, Trump created a buzz in a final five game against Colorado College at the XL Energy Center. He did something most had never seen outside of practice. Krupp trying to send it to center, hit the linesman. When I was skating out of the zone, I noticed that the puck was on its edge, so I decided to pick it up. Then I cut to the middle, and to avoid getting caught, I put one hand on my stick. Now Krupp with it again across the line. He's carrying it on his stick. When the crowd started yelling, I noticed I was caught, so I just tried to get in the puck on the net. Krupp carries it in. Krupp has it on his stick and throws it off the side of the net. He did really carry that puck in. Unbelievable play. I never really thought about doing it in a game, uh, you know, at least from that end of the ice and skating and all the way down. I thought about maybe doing it around the net, but, uh, you know, it ended up getting the crowd going and I think the guys on the bench going. Come on! <laughs> Can you believe that one? Before I go on the ice, I have like a little wooden ball that I like to play around with and it just kind of warms up the hands. And so it's just kind of a thing. Once you're good at, yeah, you feel confident with the puck, you're able to pick your head up and make plays.